If you need to test or troubleshoot your network or Wi-Fi connectivity, consider using iPerf3, which you can install and run on your Synology NAS iPerf3 is a network testing tool that creates data streams between two endpoints, providing you with throughput information that you can use to either confirm what you expect or help you in troubleshooting your network. iPerf3 can run as either a server or a client, and you'll need a combination of both to perform throughput tests. To install iPerf3 on my Synology NAS, I'll be using the Sino Community Package Repository, which I covered in the video listed here on screen, which you can view by clicking on the card above or by viewing the link in the description below. You could also install iPerf3 using Docker, as I've seen done in other videos here on YouTube, but note that some Synology NAS models don't support Docker, and using the Sino Community Package Repository should work for a wider range of Synology NAS models. Once you have the Sino Community Package Repository installed, go to Package Center, click on Community, and select the Sino CLI Monitor Tools Package. This package installs various command line utilities to monitor your system, one of which is iPerf3. I'll click Install and agree to this warning message about installing packages from third-party developers and run through the remaining prompts to install the package. Now we see that the package is installed and in a running state. To run iPerf3, you'll need to SSH into your Synology NAS. SSH can be enabled by going to Control Panel, Terminal and SNMP, select Enable SSH, click Apply, then click OK on this warning window. Also, if you want to secure your SSH setup, check out my video on configuring and managing a Synology NAS with SSH, which you'll see pop up in the card above, and I'll also link in the description below. Now we're ready to run some iPerf3 tests, and here I have two terminal windows open on my MacBook. In this first terminal, I'll SSH into my Synology NAS and run iPerf3 in server mode with this command. We now see that the iPerf3 server is running and listening on port 5201. Note also, if I wanted to have iPerf3 run in the background as a daemon service, I could have added the dash "-d flag to the command. This would have returned me back to the command prompt where I could log out of the SSH session and still have the iPerf3 server continue to run. In this second terminal window, I'm just on my MacBook, and I've already downloaded iPerf3 from the iPerf website under their downloads page, which I'll link to in the description below. I've copied the iperf3 binary into the bin directory of my user account. Now I'm able to run iperf3 in client mode and connect to my Synology NAS as the iperf server to get network throughput information using this command here. In this example, my MacBook and Synology NAS are both connected to gigabit ethernet and it looks like I'm getting roundabout the throughput I'm expecting. I'll close the iPerf3 server session on my Synology NAS, switch to Wi-Fi, and if I hold down the Option key and click on the Wi-Fi icon in the menu bar, I see that I'm connected to an 802.11 AC access point with a transfer speed of 450 megabits per second. I'll log back into my Synology NAS and start up the iPerf3 server again. Now I'll run the iPerf3 test again and I see that I'm getting the throughput that I'm expecting being that my MacBook is set up a few rooms away from the access point. For your reference, here's a table of the theoretical speeds you can expect to get from the various Wi-Fi standards. Some of these are old and you'll likely have a wireless access point or router that is either 802.11n or AC or maybe even AX. The speeds you see are theoretical, so you'll likely see slower speeds due to walls between the client device and the wireless access point or router. Also, multiple client devices connecting to a single wireless access point or router affects throughput as well. Hopefully this video on iPerf3 will help you in testing or troubleshooting your network or Wi-Fi setup and if it does, make sure to like this video. 
Also, consider subscribing to help grow this channel and check out the other videos listed here on screen. Thanks so much for watching.